Hey guys, Troy from Washright, New Zealand. Um, just another day's worth of work on this um, new truck we're building. I've just mounted the uh, roof pump with the uh, the tank for the roof pump and all the lines. So I'll show you what we're up to and explain how we've done it and why we've done it that way. Hey okay guys, this is the tank we use to store our mix for the roof cleaning. So what I need to do, I need to um, tap into it the bulkhead fitting to run to the pump I need to drill and mount the lid and the lid receiver so basically the lid will basically go somewhere about there remember this will all be covered in a sign so they'll have to come around from the side to access the lid um, so I'll just uh, plumbed in the uh, roof treatment hose. The hose is just um, laying on the ground down there at the moment. What I've also done, this is the uh, pump we're using, the Delavan Fat Boy. So two battery boxes in this cage. Uh, this will basically uh, it will basically go in like, like it there. So basically the hole there will feed the water into the box, into the pump and basically it will come out the pump there and run to the hose reel. Um, obviously this battery box here will be for the battery to run it. Uh, the reason we've got the cage around it is we've got the cage for free um, and also just, just to protect it. They can pick it up and move it around if need be. It just uh, makes it a little bit more portable. Okay guys, we'll get his tank out and we'll um, start drilling and tapping some holes. Okay guys, so you've seen the green tank before. Okay, so we've had to tap the uh, hole for the lid. So we've cut the hole out, screwed the lid on, so then they can fill it. So obviously, as you remember, there's going to be a sign right here. So you've got the motor there, so the guys basically need to fill it. Just open it up, reach around, pump it in. Okay, so over here we've got this red frame with the two battery boxes. Obviously that battery, battery over there, this battery box over there, will hold the battery. This battery box here holds the, the Delavan Fat Boy Pump. So as you'll see on the box, you've got the bulkhead fitting from the tank running into the bottom corner of the box. And that basically... feeds into the pump there as you'll see then obviously it comes out through the battery through the hole in the box along the side of the truck I've still got to tidy up the hose and get actually screwed down to the floor I've got one bracket there zip tie this to the frame comes up to the swivel and it's obviously just a uh, 3 8 3 8 to half inch barb through this uh, through the reel on out. Um, the reason we've done it inside this red frame is twofold. First of all, we got the red frame for free, so I thought it would also um, just hold everything together, keep it neat and tidy. But also, the um, franchise that this truck is going to, um, they've only been in business for five months, six months now actually, and they've actually been um, going super, super well. They've obviously they've already outgrown the. Um, sole operator so now they're looking for putting on staff members and that's what this truck's for um, so they were a bit cautious about spending huge amounts of money um, in saying this this truck's going to cost them probably 25 grand by the time they've done it, absolutely everything that includes the truck all the equipment um, you know all the sign writing insurance everything so um so they do plan on upgrading in about six or nine months um, to a petrol powered um, diaphragm pump. I'm not sure exactly uh, what type of a, an Udor pump, but they wanted all the infrastructure in place to be able to run that Udor pump, but also have good quality equipment. So they've gone for the Delavan Fat Boy. Um, so literally when they um, get the Udor pump, the Udor pump comes in this frame. It's identical size. So there's no, there's no um, 
modifications there's no you know, engineering required it's just basically a plug and play difference um, the tank we've got here is a 200 litre I'm not sure how many gallons that is I think that's around about 60 gallons I think so um, yeah so that's basically it guys we're almost finished with this truck all we've really got to go now is um, the signs for the side to enclose that both sides in then we have to come back around here and um, tomorrow we get made up our, our whip lines so there will be a downstream injector just basically there and it'll run straight into a, another another quick connect into there same on the other side so just basically little whip lines into the hose reel so that's the plan guys um that's where we're at now so um we're not really going to do much more to this truck the uh franchise owner is going to do the rest he's going to basically um you know at, at his own time buy the guns for the reels the surface cleaner the ladders all the other stuff um what we're going to do for him is we're going to obviously um, plumb in this type of stuff back to his uh, bypasses and all that type of stuff and get the motor started up, get it tested, get the um, unloaders dialed in um, so basically all he has to do is supply a gun and he's plug and play okay guys so that's where we're at, have a good day